If you guys don't know, I do have an Epic Games Pro code. Use that code on the Epic Games Store or in-game when you're buying plat or any items. And that helps me out a ton and I greatly appreciate it. So this entire webpage came to my attention after I made the robot video. So after I finish this, we'll be looking at that. But anyway, this is pretty sick. So this is the trials rundown basically, and it's just a, I guess, it gives you a lot of information about the trials you might not understand, and it, go ahead, it goes ahead and clarifies some things. And to start off, it has the trials of Lady Luck, the Islands of Trials, only the most hardened slayers can enter Lady Luck's deadly arena, but those who dare and succeed will find themselves richly rewarded. Earn steel and gilded marks to purchase trials exclusive goods, make a name for yourself on the wall of champions leaderboards, and test your skills with new trials each week. Lady Luck will be watching. Also, the new trials each week, I'm excited for that. Just the, the change of pace every single week. You learn a behemoth, and then after that, you move on to the next one. So I'm cool with that, and I'm digging it. And this is the uh, modifiers, which it does also have the last stand modifier, I think, or whichever modifier is the no revive or no stim revives modifier. That's 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 a given for Dawn's difficulty. Moving on, this is the cool part. This is the part that I want to show you guys because this is this is stylish. So win it to wear it. Conquering Dawn's Difficulty Trials will earn you coveted Gilded Marks, a special currency used to purchase cosmetics, but only those who rise to the top will earn access to Lux's most prestigious treasures. How far will you go to attain them? So this is prestigious, or this is the prestige armor, I guess. And this is required, I think there isn't a public statement on like what requires you to get the, this armor yet. Or maybe, maybe there is. Maybe it's being like top 100 leaderboard, that's what I would assume. Uh, maybe I should have been, maybe I haven't been paying attention. Anyway, this armor is sick. It's super stylish, and I can't wait to be able to buy it. Now, if the weapons cost, I think 500 gilded marks. I wonder what the armor is gonna cost, because that seems like it's gonna be wild. But hey, also do not worry. So like, say you're not really good or not really great at doing the Dawn's difficulty trials. Don't worry about that because there is going to be some armor for regular stuff, which actually looks really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is, in my opinion, somewhat on par with the freaking fancy stuff. And I'm okay with that. Like, eventually I'll try and get this too, you know? I'll try and get both, if it's possible, because they both look stylish, man. Like, they both look, re like, look at that. They both look really good. It's clean, I like it. Now the weapons, I think the gold looks better for the weapons, and that's, that's just because it gives more flair, but the silver armor, it looks pretty clean. But that is pretty much what I want to say. And also, if you aren't that great at doing the Dawn's difficulty, you can still get your power, which is the main thing, and that's from doing normals. Normals are not that wild. There are no trimmers, and there's no ice. So that's a nice feature. So those modifiers aren't in normals. And you can get all you know, the, the, the mods, the uh, specials, and some cells. So it's pretty nice. And the last thing is the frequently asked questions. And the first one is actually really important. So how do you access trials? Slayers must complete the Bright Shadows quest before they can talk to, before they can take on, uh, to, oh my gosh, they can take on Lady Lux trials. You can pick up the Bright Shadows quest from Cat after completing elements of heroism and darkness shines. The trials have to stay? Yes, that's the, that's the answer. Uh, can I use Platinum to purchase trials rewards? No. When do, I, when do trials reset? This is also pretty important. Trials will reset weekly on Tuesdays at 2 a.m. PT. And how do I get those golden weapon skins? Some rewards are only available once you've reached a certain rank on the Wall of Champions. Once you've risen high enough, talk with Lady Luck to see what's in stock. So that is Trials. And now we can go ahead and talk about the roadmap. So let's go ahead and do that. Whatever. Yo anyway, guys, today we're talking about the roadmap update. It's gonna be like a really quick, just a talking video. And I haven't looked at it yet, hence the uh, exclamation marks that are yellow and whatnot. But I'm excited because I heard some talks and I wanna see if what people are saying are true. So first things first, let's go with like let's go with deeper combat. Wait a minute. It's true. Alright. So in deeper combat we got weapon seven. Sword, hammer, axe, war pike, chain blades, repeaters, blank. Can you guess which weapon's coming next? Hint, it's not a heart bell. So this is not very informative, but I don't really care. The fact that we're getting another weapon and it's on the roadmap, and yo, it's on the roadmap. And it's not gray. Okay? So to give you guys an example, like, this is gray. This means it's kind of far away. 
And the fact that uh, in deeper combat, this isn't gray, means that it's, I wouldn't say super close, but it's also not in the freaking galaxy far, far away. It's, it's closer than not in this sense. But my question is, what's it going to be? Because they say not heart bow, and I would, maybe it's like a hand, it's going to be a bow, which I'd be, I'd be cool with the bow. Like, in my, in my opinion, bows are way cooler than a heart bow or a crossbow. That's just how it's going to go. A bow is much more fancy and more flashy than a crossbow. Because a bow, you pull back like a man, you know what I'm saying? A crossbow, you're like a freaking just yoinking it like a clown. I just don't respect it. A bow, though, is pretty sick. But anyway, for my, my picks for weapons... I want to see either a bow or I want to see a shield weapon of some kind, maybe sword and shield, mace and shield, just a shield. I don't know, a fist and a shield, but something with shields or even fist weapons. I want to see fist, fist weapons as well. So I want to see bow, sword and shield, or a shield weapon of some kind or fist weapons for the next weapon. That's what I want. Some folks have recommended or some folks have suggested, say, uh, I, like daggers which like would wound or something like that, like a scythe, they've uh, suggested a couple things. But I want to see a bow, even though we, we just got, we got repeaters recently, so I wouldn't really expect a bow, but I'd like it just because it'd be really sick. And I like bows in every single game they're in, just because they're sick. But that's me. Whatever you guys think should be in the game next, leave a comment down below, because I would be interested to see what y'all think. But that's just, those are my thoughts. But uh, that's, that's more, that's, that's deeper combat. Let's go ahead and look at more activities. So this is Wall Champions, for Fortune and Glory. I'll read these even though we kind of know what the dealio is. So Wall of Champions, to test your metal against the masses. The Wall of Champions will rank Slayers, trial completion times, putting the quickest, most efficient teams on the top and rookies at the bottom. That's toxic. No more claiming you're one of the best. It's time to prove it. Which, by the way, there is currently a bug where in trials you can get a weaker version of Nezaga whenever it's not the, it's not the correct version, right? So... When you're doing Dauntless Trials or even Normal Trials, you should be fighting either a 22 power level Behemoth in Dauntless Trials or a 19 power Nezaga in Normal Trials. In some cases, that doesn't happen. You end up fighting a much weaker version, like I'm saying, like, like 15 or even lower. And that makes it much easier, making your kill times much faster. That is why pretty much most of the kill times on the board, if not all of them, are scuffed. It's kind of unlucky. And I really hope it gets fixed. I, I would personally prefer a wipe to all the leaderboards. I'm not saying that should happen. I'm just saying it's what I would prefer. All I'm saying. Now, I don't really, I wouldn't be upset if it didn't happen. But in my opinion, I think that it should happen because it's literally impossible to beat the times that are set right now when fighting the weaker Nezaga. It, it just is. Like, I'm number one with Revy. We got a 132 on Doll's difficulty. That's in a duo. That's not a legit kill time. And like the sad part is I don't really feel proud of that kill time because of this bug. But with that being said, Trials is insanely fun. I want to say that right now. I, I've been playing Trials. I played Trials yesterday for 12 hours straight. Just having the time of my life. It took me and Revy three hours to even beat Trials on Dawn's difficulty. Three whole hours of just progression and just trying to beat it. And it was probably the most fun I've had in this game in a long time. And that that's... It's just such a good feeling when you, when you try so hard and you finally beat something. But that's just how I feel about it. And that's Wall Champions. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure if you are on the Wall Champions when the season ends, if you're in top, top 100, either on solo or in a group, you'll get access to gold skins for the weapons. Which look really freaking dope, especially compared to the basic skins, but that's how it goes. And the, also, like, the nice thing is, doing that mode is basically purely cosmetic, and I really like that aspect. But that's this. That's this whole thing. There are some links to the hunt pass and systems and whatnot and the lore, which I'm actually going to read that later. I'll see what it, like, what's this about? Holy, I'll read it. Uh, that, that might be another video, maybe. It depends. We'll see what, what goes down. We're going to go ahead and go back. All right. High skies, fortune, and glory. So this is a new hunt pass, which, by the way, it's pretty sick. The hunt pass itself has some really nice skins and all kinds of stuff like that. If you like, in my opinion, or my suggestion, if you like anything in the hunt pass, even say like one skin or one or one weapon skin, if you think they're really cool, it's it's probably worth it because a hunt pass costs you ten dollars in USD. If you complete it, you get back five dollars in platinum. So it's effectively five dollars if you think about it like that. And that is the cost of a weapon skin for the most part. So it's just in my opinion, I think it's a really good and affordable way to get skins and cosmetics without having to break a bank. 
But I broke my bank. I spent 7,000 plat. As soon as the new cosmetics in the store dropped, it was just gone because I love the new store cosmetics. That's just me. Anyway, Lady Luck and her crew have dropped Anchor in the, in the Ram. Anchor in the Ram's gate. In the Ram. Okay. Bringing fortune and glory to all who seek it. Search for the Dread Skulls hidden in Ramsgate. Complete weekly challenges to earn Gleaming Pearls. And hunt down special break parts to level your Hunt Pass. For those, for those of you seeking even more treasure, the Hunt Pass Elite track is loaded with... with uh, What? Lucri? Lucri? Uh, someone will tell me in chat or in comments. Including a full set of cosmetic Corsair armor and a complete... And a complete complement of weapon skins. Plus, watch the store for new weapon skins... Lantern looks and more. Tell you, man, the weapon skins in the store are bangers. They're freaking legit. But this is the current hunt pass. Now, this season we'll have two hunt passes. We have Fortune and Glory, or we have High Skies in Fortune and Glory season, and we'll also have the Zephyr Strike. This has not been revealed yet, and this will be coming out, I think, in 34 days, or whenever this hunt pass ends. Whenever this current season ends, I guess, or hunt pass. I'm not sure the terminology, but something like that. Anyway, High Skies, Zephyr Strike. The second hunt pass, so yeah, second hunt pass of the high sky season in introduces Team Zephyr Strike, a specialized Austin Slayer group looking to sharpen their skills in Lady Lux trials. Let's just hope they don't end up sharpening some behemoth teeth instead. The Zephyr Strike hunt pass arrives in this August at the end of the high sky's fortune and glory. Bro. So, specialized Austin Slayers. To me, that screams just freaking. I almost said. Wordy dirts, but it, it screams like dope looking armor, man. Because the current cosmetics in the store are by far my favorite weapon skins to date. For I'm pretty sure every single weapon. It's just they're insanely good. I think the only things that top it right now are maybe the top 100 uh, gold skins you get for the weapons, but they're just so good. And I'm happy that that's the case because making better skins, it makes me just willing to like bust out my mom's credit card and just hand it over like here take the money run the card i'm cool with it they won't know no, they'll know because I, I pay for my own stuff but still it's freaking dope man i like it like the skins are getting better i'm just excited man i'm excited for everything happening dauntless i'm i'm just beyond ecstatic and moving on from my more activities let's go to social and personality so the last thing we'll talk about today oh wait this is Halloween, bro. What's going on? When's Halloween again? October? That's kind of far away. Dark Harvest. Last year's on holiday event returns for another year of thrills. Look for more news as we draw closer to October. Yeah. So this is a really early look. Or not look, but a really early suggestion. Something like that. Into the next, uh, into, you know, Dark Harvest. Which Dark, Dark Harvest had the Unseen event. Which was pretty neat and pretty cool. So during Dark Harvest, you basically had access to two, like no, one set of armor, or no, two actually. I think I can't remember that that far back. But anyway, the Unseen event had the Unseen language that Dawnus like pretty much ran with, which was pretty dope. You had to like learn a new language, and it was I carry lantern in the dark, all kinds of stuff. You had to like decipher these codes. It was super interesting. Plus, in the Dawnus cave, they had a statue in there that was pretty sick. But that's pretty dope. I, I like the, the Dark Harvest skins. And today I wore a October October's transmog for my helmet. It's like a pumpkin with a big hat. And a bunch of people were like, yo, where is that hat from? And I was like, Halloween, bro. Wait for it. And I would say that I'm I'm really hoping that some of the old Hunt Pass cosmetics, which, which the, the pumpkin mask wasn't a cosmetic from the Hunt Pass, but still. I'm hoping that some old Hunt Pass cosmetics can make their way back into Dauntless. Because my personal feelings are that I don't think the Hunt Pass really signifies any uh i would say it doesn't take skill to complete it so I, I wouldn't be opposed to people being able to buy uh hunt pass items like i would use a hunt pass as a value pack right so if you buy it whenever the hunt pass is running you get really cheap skins and whatnot if you don't do it when the hunt pass is running and you wait until it comes out say in the store next time then they're a bit more expensive and that's sort of like how the hunt pass is viewed in my opinion now if, it, if the skins aren't available again I'm not too concerned because I have all the skins, but I would like for people that couldn't get them, such as console players, to have a shot at getting them in some capacity. Whether or not they have another, like I guess, hunt pass for it, which I wouldn't really recommend because that would, that would kind of like uh, be unlucky for someone like me who already has a hunt pass stuff. But we'll see what happens if that 
when it comes to that point, because we haven't really repeated any hot passes yet. That'll happen in, uh, I think, December. Or no, October. I think, or is it October or December? It's sometime later on. It won't happen for a while. And when it does, we'll cross that road when we have to. But that's basically the video, y'all. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you want to, subscribe to this channel for more content. That's what I do here. And I should have a video on gathering materials soon. I want to make that because I need materials. So I, make, I, I might as well make a video for y'all to get them while I'm gathering materials. And I will also be making a video for a repeater build that I'm going to use to get sub 3 in Dolls Trials. And I'm going to be doing it on a behemoth that's not scuffed. Like, I'm going to make sure it's not a behemoth that's a weaker power level and nothing's bugged. That's the goal. And uh, anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Wait, actually, if you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch. It's really important. I should say that before I leave. I'm a Twitch streamer. I just got partnered on Twitch, which was, it was kind of emotional. I, I cried a little bit because it's been two years since I uh, started streaming. And it was pretty insane to I finally get there. But I'm a partnered Twitch streamer and a partnered Dauntless streamer. I have my own partner, Flair, with uh, Dauntless. It's a little, it's basically my, my Twitch logo. But if you guys want to, it'd be dope if you stopped by the stream, hung out, asked some questions, because I play the game a lot, I'm pretty good at the game, and I can teach folks how to play if they have questions or answer any of the questions they may have. And aside from that, I have an Epic Games of Progress code. Use that code, which is going to be Odo, in the Epic Games store or in the Dauntless store when buying whatever, and it supports the heck out of me. And I appreciate everyone that does that. And uh, also, with that code, make sure you, you're constantly using someone's code, because I think they run out. Like every 14 days, the code disappears to like some degree, like it just resets. So use someone's code, whether it's my code, Rebby Rad's code, like Akeda's, Zanny Phantom, use someone's code because it does help them out and they appreciate it, whether they say it or not, which I'm pretty sure they do. But y'all, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.